have a yellow flag here at Le Mans and the exclusion zone or the slow zone is right here as we're standing. You can see the Porsche coming past the yellow flag now and race control are controlling the speed of that particular car. Just 60 kilometers an hour all the way through the yellow flag zone and it means we don't have to have a safety car. As you can see, the Aston Martin was flying along the straight flat out speed and now in the yellow flag zone has to do that 60 kilometers an hour. All the way through this yellow flag zone they'll be limited to that speed and then once they've passed the danger area and the green flag, then the car can do full speed throughout the rest of the circuit. That means they, all these cars aren't sitting behind a safety car for the whole lap and therefore, of course, a much longer lap speed. We just let some of them go through. But it's a very strange situation to see cars racing towards a yellow flag and then once they get to that yellow flag zone all doing exactly the same speed the sort of thing you might see at a go-kart circuit or a, or a drive and drive karting but certainly not something you've seen at all but what it does mean is that we can still have racing down the mall sand straight and through the porsche curves it's only this small danger area where the problem is occurring that the cars will do this speed and the track very, very busy at the moment. We're not quite sure why this yellow flag is out at the moment. We'll let you know as the day progresses. But a fantastic new innovation from the ACO. Very, very safety conscious, but also allows the racing to progress around the rest of the circuit. We will still see safety cars at the 24 Hours of Le Mans this year, but probably a lot less frequently.